Gospel of October the 21st, 2014 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke Jesus said to his disciples Gird your loins and light your lamps and be like servants who await the master's return from a wedding ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks Blessed are those servants whom the master finds vigilant on his arrival Amen, I say to you he will gird himself, have them recline a table, and proceed to wait on them. And should he come in the second or third watch, and find them prepared in this way, blessed are those servants. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It is convenient for us to read a little bit of the first lecture taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. He says, You were a time without Jesus, alienated and strangers to the covenants of promise, without hope and without God in this world. But now you have become near by the blood of Christ. He says, we have access to one spirit, to the, in one spirit to the Father. To grow into a temple sacred in the in the Lord, into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. We are asked to become the dwelling temple of God. And today we hear the gospel directed to the disciples. It's not to the crowd, but to those of us who pretend to follow Christ. A little bit closer and he says gird your loins and light your lamps do you gird your loin when you dress up to be ready to serve that is be ready for action be ready to answer to answer immediately when you are called upon and that is necessarily a characteristic of the disciple of God, of the disciple of Christ, the readiness to answer, not only obeying, but doing it readily, and I would add happily. And of course we would be happy because he says, blessed are those. Now he says also, light up your lamps. How do we light, light up our lamps? What does the lamp mean. A lamp is a light that will shine on darkness and guide our way. That light, that lamp, in the first place is the Holy Spirit that illuminates our conscience, our minds, our life. It's also the spark of faith that we have received that endures because we keep we keep it we take good care of it we need to remain in prayer every day we also need to hear the word of god especially the gospel of the lord as we are doing right now we also need to frequent the sacraments especially the penance, reconciliation, and the Eucharist. And finally, out of those three actions, prayer, hearing of the word, and sacraments, we should be able to bear fruits, that is, to give good fruits, to give the fruits of charity, of love, wherever we are. And thus, we will keep our light, our lamp lighted. We should be expecting our master whenever he returns and be ready. He says to open immediately when he comes and knocks. Now Paul was saying that we should become the temples of God. Saint Therese of Abila used to say, that 
her, His Majesty, the Lord Himself, dwells in our soul, in the innermost rooms of the palace that is our soul. And He dwells there, not even, notwithstanding even that we might be in grave sin. But if we are in sin, then we cover that soul and we are outside. We have to clean by reconciliation and then enter into that place, enter into our own soul, into our own conscience. And there we will find Him. And it will be the greatest of gifts to have conscience of His presence and His blessings. And that will happen if we are humble, if we also desire with all our hearts to be true servants of God, to make Him happy with our, with our life. He says, Blessed are them if He finds, if He comes in the second or third watch and finds them prepared in this way. Our life goes on through days, weeks, months, years. When will God come finally? Well, certainly there is the time, the day of judgment. But much faster than that, it will be the time when we are asked, required to be present before God. And on that day, we should be ready. But especially, if we try to become the servants of God, that His disciples, we should be ready to serve Him at any time, with whomever He points us to, with happiness, because then we should be blessed. Let us ask our Father in Heaven to send forth again His Holy Spirit to all of us and our brothers, His children, that He might enkindle our lamp again and guide us throughout this life until we are before Him in heaven. God bless you all, brothers.